Hi, and welcome to a lesson on the Pythagorean Theorem. Today we're going to review the formula, look at some example problems, and look at some informal proofs of the Pythagorean Theorem. This PowerPoint was found online at math.ppst.com slash pythagorean.html. Okay, our objective is to solve problems involving the Pythagorean Theorem. Now remember, the Pythagorean Theorem is for right triangles only. So here's a right triangle. Remember, a right triangle has a 90 degree angle. It has This is a leg. This is the other leg. And the one across from the 90 degree angle is called the hypotenuse. It's always opposite the right angle. Okay, in the Pythagorean theorem we call this A, this B, and the hypotenuse C. Or, we can switch those around and this can be A, this can be B, and this can be C. It doesn't matter which leg you call A and B. So the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So this leg squared plus this, plus this leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So if we're going to solve for triangles like this, we're going to solve for the hypotenuse in this case. So it's this leg squared plus this leg squared equals X squared. So it's 6 squared plus 8 squared equals x squared. 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64. So 36 plus 64 equals x squared. So 100 equals x squared. So to solve for x, you have to do the opposite of squaring, which is the square root. And we get the absolute value of 10, because the square root of 100 is 10. So x could be 10 or negative 10, but since it's the length of a triangle, it can't be a negative length, so it can't be a negative 10. So the answer is x equals 10. Now let's do another one. Let's solve for y in this case. So the theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That gives us 7 squared plus 4 squared equals y squared. So 7 squared is 49. 4 squared is 16. So 49 plus 16 equals y squared. So 65 equals y squared. Take the square root of both sides, and the absolute value of y is 60 square root of 65. So y is square root of 65, or negative square root of 65. Just like the last one, it can't be negative. So y is approximately 8.1 units. Okay, another example. This time we're solving for t, one of the legs. So the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have t squared plus 6 squared equals 15 squared. So t squared plus 36 equals 225. Subtract the 36 from both sides and t squared equals 189. Take the square root and t is approximately 13.7. Now there's Pythagorean triples which are most common uh, whole number right triangles. The first most common is three, four, five triangles. So one leg is three, another leg is four, and the hypotenuse is five. Now we can multiply each of these by two and get six, eight, ten. Nine, twelve, fifteen is when you multiply by three. Multiply by four, you get twelve, sixteen, and twenty, and so on. So the first triple is three, four, five, and these are all multiples of it. Another triple is 5, 12, 13. So the legs are 5 and 12, and the hypotenuse is 13. And we can multiply, again, times 2, times 3, and so on, and these are all also triples. The last popular one is 7, 24, 25. So the hypotenuse is 25, and these are the legs, 7 and 24. And you can multiply all those by 2, 14, 48, and 50, or by 3, 21, 72, and 75 and so on. So for example, 12 and 15, what would the other side be? Here's our triple, hypotenuse 15, leg 12, the other side should be 9, because they're most popular Pythagorean triples. Now, some real world examples. To the nearest tenth of a foot, find the length of a diagonal of a rectangle with a width of 4 feet and a length of 10 feet. So first of all, we're going to draw our, tr our rectangle as a width of 4 feet, 
a length of 10 feet, we want to find the diagonal. Diagonal goes across. We'll call it x. Now we can use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 4 squared plus 10 squared equals x squared. And we can do the math. Square root of 116. So x is approximately 10.8 feet for the diagonal of this rectangle. Next, a car drives 20 miles due east, then 45 miles due south. To the nearest hundredth of a mile, how far is the car from its starting point? So 20 miles east, we're going to draw the diagram first. 45 miles due south, we want to know how far from the starting point. So that's going to be the hypotenuse. There's our right triangle. Remember the Pythagorean theorem only works for right triangles. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Plug in the legs. Do the math. Take the square root. And that gives us about 49.24 miles. So those are two good applications of, of the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, next we're going to look at an informal proof of the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, and here we have a dot diagram. We're going to make a square out of it. Inscribe a square within a square. So there's a square inside of our square. Now if you notice here, it creates four triangles on the outside. Let's call the triangles A, the, length, or the legs are A and B, and the hypotenuse is C. And since it's going to be the same on all of them. Okay, then the middle square is going to have area of C times C, which is C squared. Okay, now we're going to pull that triangle out. Pull this triangle out. Pull that triangle out. And lastly, pull this other triangle out. So if, as you can see, we're making rectangles. Okay, now we're going to plug this rectangle back inside the square. Okay, and do the same with the other rectangle. It's going to be made from the two triangles. Okay, now what's left has to be the yellow region. So there's one part of the yellow region, let's call it B squared. And the other part of the regions over here, let's call it A squared. Now the yellow region total has to be C squared. So then the yellow region is A squared plus B squared, that's what's left in here. And from the other part, it has to total the C squared. So A, A squared plus B squared has to equal C squared. 